It has been a place where life evolved. It has been home to over a zillion bees. It has been the nurturer of mankind. It has been the means of mankind's sustenance and growth. It has been a place which is deep and deeper beyond our reach. That's Earth. Mother Earth. Acknowledging this Earth and its bountiful wealth for progress and taking forward the man-nature relationship has been GMDC. GMDC, Gujarat Mineral Development Corporation. Fueling growth, fueling the economy. The organization has been working towards propelling the economy of Gujarat vis-a-vis -vis entire nation by contributing through mineral development. GMDC has been adding substance to the state's government, trade, commerce and other industries by working towards unearthing minerals, the solid chemical substances formed through bio-geochemical processes comprising rocks and mines of the earth. And this way, it has been developing the mineral wealth of Gujarat and in turn fueling the growth and fueling the economy. And as it is said, that Rome was not built in a day. Any great structure takes years and years of hard work and perseverance to attain grandeur. And GMDC has been one such body where the journey towards success has been more than five decades long and is still striding ahead on the path of success. The foundation of GMDC was laid in 1963 in the modest form of a small sand crushing plant at Surendranagar to develop the state's major mineral resources that supplied graded sand to manufacturers of sodium silicate and the glass industries. Striding ahead on this front, soon GMTC got to set up a plant for beneficiation of Fluor Spa, which is considered as the company's mother project. Gujarat being a coal-starved state, lignite became a cheaper and efficient coal substitute to cope with and at this, GMTC took up mining of lignite predominantly. Though lignite continued to dominate the current activities of GMTC, the company continued to pursue its path of expansion. Based on mineral resources such as bauxite, fluor spar, manganese of Gujarat. And since then, there has been no looking back. In the past three years, under the able leadership of Sri V.S. Garvi, the managing director, GMDC has scaled new heights due to his foresight and financial prudence. The market capitalization of GMDC has reached an all-time high. It's a matter of great pride to see GMDC to its current level of operations. GMDC has not only fueled the economic and commercial growth of the state, it has also contributed its might in the overall development of the remote and tribal areas of the state. High-grade lignite, which has earned the sobriquet of brown gold, still dominates the activities of GMDC. This is the major mineral excavated by GMDC. And today, it has become the largest merchant seller of lignite in and across the country. The various mining excavation sites going on for lignite projects have been Panandro and Mata no Mad in Lakpat Taluka of Kach district, Raj Party in Jagadya Taluka of Bharuj district, Tadkeshwar in Mandvi Taluka of Surat district, and Surkha in Bhavnagar district. GMTC's focus on mining lignite has been because of its abundance and comparatively easy accessibility in Gujarat. Annually, about 80% of the total turnover of GMTC is attributable to lignite production. Lignite also holds an important place because one of its most important utility is generating electricity, which in turn is reliable, low cost and is produced in an environmentally responsible manner. That change is the only constant thing in this universe, has never been negated by GMDC as it has always remained at par with the changing world, keeping pace with the rapid modernization and expansion drive in mining. GMDC started incorporating state-of-the-art technology 
and entered the league of modern mining PSUs. GMTC stepped into the new millennium, embracing modern technology with setting up of a 2 by 125 megawatt power plant at Akrimota with thermal power generation facility based on the lignite mined from its Panandro mines, forming a self-sustainable model. And today, with its relentless quest for development, it has become one of the first PSUs to venture into wind power generation. Currently, the wind farm capacity is 150 megawatt power, from which 200 million unit electricity would be generated. This step has not only led to reduction of its carbon footprints, but has also led to the alteration of its dependence on finite fossil fuel resources. GMDC has recently invested in the field of non-conventional energy. From GMDC's point of view, not only this is a strategic investment, but it also shows our commitment to the environment. Keeping in mind its responsibility towards the environment, GMDC has recently entered into an agreement with the state government utility to supply 5 megawatts of solar power in the Kutch region. And in this environment-friendly project, about 70 crores invested. This solar power plant is one of its kind initiative in the country, wherein the plant has been placed on the mined out area for its reclamation. Lignite being one, GMDC has also been mining bauxite in Gatsisa group of mines in Kach and Bhatia mines in Jamnagar, Fluor Spa in Kadipani of Baroda district and manganese in the Shivrajpur of Panch Mahal district for the last two decades. Furthermore, GMDC has been striving towards development of mineral-based value addition joint venture projects such as setting up of alumina and aluminium smelter plant in the Kutch district based on non-plant grade bauxite to be supplied by GMDC. Value addition projects based on supply of non-plant grade bauxite by GMDC. Setting up of cement plant based on supply of limestone by GMDC. Setting up of power plant based on allocation of coal blocks to GMDC. Exploration and prospecting of mineral resources in the state. Mining of manganese and setting up of value addition plants in and across Gujarat. GMDC has been a good catalyst in the industrial development of Gujarat. Now our focus will be on more value addition in the mineral industry. Also at the same time for a growth, proper growth, we want to go beyond the state boundaries and consolidate our business. The future of GMDC looks bright. The government is supporting it in all possible manner. On the further lines of development, GMDC has acquired certification of ISO 9001, ISO 14001 and OSAS 18001 for all its projects. And due to its very strong fundamental base, GMDC stock has always been a star performer on the nation's bourses, thus generating wealth for its investors. Not only this, most of the times, the stock has outperformed the benchmark indices in the falling markets. Keeping in pace with the technologically advancing nation, GMDC has implemented an integrated one of its kind ERP project, IMAN. The project proposes to introduce efficiency and transparency with IT interventions. It is an integrated IT platform offering unique solutions for all functionality from mines to market. From the beginning, GMDC has the concept of cultivating a culture of building good relations with the community where it operates mining operations. And so it believes in taking a move from philanthropy to effective community investment. Apart from the holistic developmental activities being done, GMDC contributes towards an inclusive growth by getting involved in activities such as livelihood augmentation, micro-irrigation, water harvesting, health interventions, development of rural infrastructure such as schools, colleges, hospitals, roads, etc. Apart from this, GMTC also has a commitment to emphasize on adopting environment-friendly measures in the whole sphere of operations. 
In lieu of this, the company has intensified environmental protection measures by way of reclamation of mined out area, by backfilling and afforestation, plantation on overburdened down, virgin area and roadside through in-house sources as well as through the forest department and is thus being the epitome of sustainable mining and sustainable development. As GMDC continues to grow, it aims at capitalizing on opportunities that come on its way, exploring the unexplored mineral wealth of the state, expanding to newer mineral fields in the state, striking strategies for value addition to base minerals and at the same time, Developing gold blocks outside Gujarat are some of the high priority agenda. With newer agendas and newer efforts, GMTC shall never cease to fuel the growth of Gujarat by relentlessly outperforming in the field of sustainable development. It shall keep reminding mankind about the bountiful wealth of Mother Earth and shall keep nurturing the man-nature relationship. It shall never cease to write, rewrite, and unearth the Earth Shastra.